How's it going guys? Strange to hear today. So today I uh, thought I'd do a video about a few console commands that can help you out in Counter-Strike, both in uh, being better and a few little things that'll help you out. So the first command I want to go over, <clears throat> it's going to be called FPS Max. And depending on what type of monitor you have, whether you have a 60 hertz, 120 hertz, 144 hertz, you're going to want to put that so say you have 144 60 hertz you'd want to set it as double so 120 and then you add one so if you had a 60 hertz you would add 121 fps max 121 since i have 144 hertz i would add 289 okay so that's how you set your fps fps max all right so that'll enable your monitor to your game to put out the amount of frames per second that your monitor is built to do okay all right next command i'm going to talk about is cl radar scale 0 0.4 now what this does is it makes your radar stay more centered now there is a command i'm going to talk about next that it keeps it always centered but it scales it down a little bit and it makes it look a little better in my, my opinion not the most important command but something that you'll notice um, okay, now the next command is what I just mentioned is CL radar always centered. Hit enter, and that keeps your radar right here always centered, right? So you'll notice a difference over time. I definitely do. All right, next we're gonna go over CL disable freeze cam one. Now, what this does is when you die say you're playing a competitive game you know when you die and you can see what the player who killed you did this makes it so you can see a little bit further and i want to say a little bit longer but i'm not sure if that's true but i know it enables you to get a little bit more information after you die so definitely a big help there all right and now this next one is for people who want to bunny hop so what you do is you would type bind mw wheel so mouse wheel up right and then you would hit you would do that with a plus sign Oops, sorry jump and you end it with a quotation and what that does is enables you to use your mouse wheel up for jumping which helps tremendously with bunny hopping um, I'm not the best bunny hopper however it has enabled me get better at bunny hopping as you can see not the best bunny hopper but anyways all right so next we have for buying weapons so um one thing i've noticed that can help is in the beginning of the round if you bind a key like say you bind a key to buy um a fla two flash grenades an he grenade and a smoke grenade so you just press one key and boom that buys all your smoke grenades. Uh, you can also buy bind a key to buy your armor, etc., etc. So to do that, you'll type in bind whatever key you want. So let's say we want to do L. So bind L, right? And then you're going to type quotation buy. And this is for the grenade flashbang. Okay. And then you would type H E. I'm sorry. Then you would type by H E grenade and pause free. Then you would type by flashbang pause free. Then you would type by smoke grenade. Okay. And then you would end it with your quotes and then that would bind l to buying all of those grenades okay so that can make it easier and quicker to get the items you need all right next thing i want to talk about is i can't buy an op but what this next command does the command itself is zoom sensitivity ratio mouse one so what this does 
is it makes it so that your your mouse sensitivity stays the same while zoomed in so it's less confusing your your sensitivity will always be the same even when zoomed in some people might not like this i personally enjoy it and i think it helps me with my offering all right so now let's go to the next command this command is uh, i believe snd yeah snd snd headphone pan exponent there it is right there exponent and then two so what this does is uh, can I change while well, server is running and yeah, SV cheats is zero. Okay, so SV cheats is set to one. Um, okay, so let's disregard that one. What that does is it makes footsteps and sounds easier to hear, but obviously you wouldn't be able to use that on a competitive server, so we'll disregard that one. Okay, so on to the next one. So this one is very useful. Very, very useful, especially for competitive. Um, so what you're going to type in is voice scale 0 0.7. Now what this does is it lowers the voice of people talking on your team. So when you're in that clutch situation and you got people telling you to do this, go here, what, what are you doing, what are you thinking, why would you go there, you know? All the times that people are talking when you're trying to listen to footsteps or, or concentrate, this will make it so that their voice sound is a lot less louder and you'll be able, you'll be able to focus better, all right? And last but not least, you're going to type CL. Timeout, and you're gonna put quotation one, three, three, seven, quotation. Now what this does is it makes it so you will not get kicked. The server will not kick you if you lose connection to the server. So there's times where like you don't necessarily lose internet connection, but you still get kicked from the server. Um, this will make it so if you lose connection from the server, it won't kick you, right? So you'll still be there and you might have to reload or whatever, but you won't get kicked. Um, so this can help with abandons and things like that. So this is just a general list of a few different commands. There's tons more. Um, lots of stuff you can do with the console. I thought I'd just give you guys a few basic ones that I use to help me out. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, make sure to leave them down below. Like the video if this helped you out at all and subscribe for more daily videos. And thanks for watching guys.